It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up the bat. Bow. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the A. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. You feel me? But look, man, we back with another news top five, man. Before we even get into that, I need y'all to drop with you in the chat, man, in the comments. Let me know that y'all with me, man. And I'll be saying some of y'all comments to y'all. Y'all be like, yeah, man, I'm like three hours late, but I'm still with you. Or I'm a day late because YouTube ain't sent me the notification. I'm still with you, though. And if you here, you with me. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? But um, we got uh, cats and dogs that saw something their owners couldn't see, especially the supernatural. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. Cats and dogs that saw something their owners couldn't see. The dog and the spirit box. Mike Jameson claims that several spirits haunt his home. One night he's recording a session with a spirit box, which is basically a device that scans through radio frequencies looking for sound. Paranormal researchers believe that these sounds come from ghosts or supernatural entities. Mike's dog Buckeye is there with him. The dog is staring at the basement stairs and seems to be a little freaked out by the whole creepy experience. Eerily, a voice on the spirit box first seems to say Mike's name, but otherwise, it seems a bit confused. Mike? Yeah, what's up, man? You just said my name. That's the little rascal's dog. That's the, that's the dog. In a later clip, we see more activity in the scary video as the dog heads for the basement stairs. He just in there doing that chilling, talking to a ghost? Man, don't take your ass down. Mike asks the spirits to come up the stairs. His dog Buckeye seems to be staring intently at something, and Mike begins to capture on video what many paranormal researchers call orbs. Can you walk up my steps? I want to capture you on video, spirits. Look at the dog. Oh, nice. I just seen an orb come through. Ooh, oh my god. I just seen an orb come straight to the right side of the camera at 117. I did see something come from the left side of the dog, but I'm not sure on that. His tail is not moving. See his head turn. Suddenly, Mike's camera begins to malfunction, losing focus for no reason. At the same moment, his dog Buckeye freaks out. Oh, losing focus, losing focus, oh my god. Wow, dude, see? Yeah, my camera just lost focus and I got goosebumps, spirits. So, was Mike actually communicating with ghosts, and could his dog Buckeye actually see or sense them? Or was it all just random coincidence? You decide. Weird. Cat sees a ghost? One night, Kimberly Haas' cat suddenly becomes very disturbed by something in the room, even though Kimberly can't see anything. The hair on the cat's back begins to stand up and it paces the floor as if it is looking at something threatening above the dresser. Ooh. 
Listen to the music he playing in the background though. This shit sound crazy. The cat continues to have a very strange reaction. Eventually, the cat even starts crouching on its back legs to get a better look at whatever it sees above the dresser. He tripping though. Nah, he tripping bro. Apparently, the cat saw something that their owner couldn't see and definitely did not like it. The owner, Kimberly, thinks that it could have been a ghost or spirit. But what do you think? Cats can be quirky, so is this cat just acting bizarre for no reason? Or is the pet seeing something supernatural? Something in the corner. A YouTuber uploaded a video of her dog Bella's mysterious nightly ritual. The owner says that every night at 9.15, the dog leaves the family and their other dogs and walks alone into a dark room near the kitchen. There, Bella sits and stares at one corner of the room as if intently watching something. The dog will watch the corner for up to 45 minutes, occasionally raising her ears as if she hears something. That dog is bugged so, out. So this is what Bella does like between 9.15 and 9.30 every night. She stares at the same corner. Um, actually, we're, we're kind of all tucked in back in the back and the other dogs are with me, but she cruises out here almost nightly to just sit by herself even in the dark and just stare at this corner. Even as the owner films and talks about the dog, Bella cannot be distracted from whatever it is that she's looking at. What? Bella, honey. Bella. Bella. He just doesn't really distract her. Her mode of thinking and paying attention to whatever it is. But it gets even stranger. From time to time, their other dog Madison will join Bella, staring at the same mysterious corner. Sometimes Madison will do it too, but nothing compared to what Bella's doing. Um, although they do tend to raise their head at the same time, there are times when their heads will both go in the same direction where there is nothing. So, what is it that the dogs see that their owners can't? Is it a ghost or something supernatural? Or is it just quirky behavior? And why every night at the exact same time? Let me know what you think down in the comments. The Feline Grim Reaper. That's weird. Oscar the cat was adopted by the Steerhouse Nursing Home in Rhode Island when he was just a kitten, along with five other cats. The idea was that the six cats could provide companionship and comfort for the nursing home residents. However, the staff soon noticed that Oscar was not quite as friendly as the other cats. Oscar is, is not always the friendliest cat. He's not friendly to... Um, he can be bribed, like many animals, um, but he is not a cat that will spend quality time with residents on the ward. But the staff soon began to notice that Oscar did show a special interest in certain patients. The cat would go into the room of particular nursing home residents and curl up at the foot of their beds. Within two to four hours, the patients would pass away. What? After the patient was deceased, Oscar would leave the room as quietly as he had entered. He will only go and stay with patients that are about to die. He will leave rooms, for example, when, when patients are not close, even though we might perceive them to be close. If Oscar was removed from a patient's room and the door was closed, he would pace outside, meowing to be let back in. And Oscar will frantically pace outside the, outside the closed door, which that is really something to say. 
even creepier, Oscar has never been wrong. <laughs> what? He's been pretty accurate. Um, I know actually of no event where he wasn't at the bedside. Now, usually in these videos, I'll ask you, the viewer, if you think a story is real or fake. But there is no disputing this one. It's 100% real. Wow. Oscar the Cat's amazing ability to predict the demise of patients was chronicled in 2007 in the New England Journal of Medicine after he had accurately predicted the passing of over 25 patients. Since the publishing of that article, Oscar has now predicted the passing of over 100 patients. Whoa. So the real question is, how does he do it? Is it ESP or some supernatural ability? Is it something paranormal? You decide. Damn. Dog sees a ghost? Wow. Zach Clark is playing with his new puppy Zoe one day when the dog begins to act very strange. Zoe stares at one end of a room as if something is there, and even starts to growl, bark, and occasionally back away in fear. What is it? What is it, Zoe? I'm like afraid to look. <laughs> There's literally nothing here. The only explanation is it's a ghost. <laughs> like seriously. There's you, honestly no way. I am literally home alone right now. <laughs> later, the dog repeats the same strange behavior. What are you barking at, Zoe? What is it, Zoe? Dude, no way, not again. What is it, Zoe? Dude, she's looking over there again. What the heck? I hope it was just the fridge turning on. What do you think Zoe was barking at? Did the dog see something that her owner couldn't see? Zack seemed to be a little freaked out by his puppy's behavior and thought it might be a ghost. But what do you think? <laughs> Alright, that was cats and dogs that saw something their owners couldn't see. Now, that wasn't scary at all. But I got a question. Do y'all think dogs and cats and pick up on a supernatural that we can't. And the cat story, when he'll go in there and then two, or two to four hours, that patient is gone and he hasn't been wrong? Y'all let me know, man, have, have your pets ever did something, you know what I'm saying, where you thought that they seen a ghost or something like that? If Drop it in the comments below. I'm gonna be going through reading some of the comments and stuff like that, man. Also. If you made it to the end, man, drop real one in the chat. That's a big fact. You know what I'm saying? But till next time, man, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you when you know it. Hey.